All right, guys, we're going to be solving rational equations on Desmos today. And what you're going to notice is we've got an equation with all those k's in it right over here under number one. And it says what we're going to do is split that equation into two pieces. We've got line one and we've got line two. We come over to Desmos. I have actually already done that to make this just a little bit quicker. You do notice that I have put x's where the k's are at because Desmos is not going to represent um, uh, show up with cases, not make any calculations that way. So we are going to look for intersections, but you can tell that the graph looks a little bit funkier than normal. So what I want you to do is you're going to end up clicking on the graph and you'll see gray points start to show up. You'll notice that there's one right here in the middle that showed up. That's about where I touched. You can tell that is not a solution. Uh, and that is not a solution because they are not intersecting. But we can look out here on the left and you can see that the, the yellow, the green and the blue graph are becoming closer together. So what we are gonna do is I'm gonna take a second, I'm gonna zoom in, zoom in, and you can see that the both of those graphs are getting closer and closer and closer. I look at it and it looks like, hey, they are intersecting at X equals a negative 11. You'll also notice there's another point here. Well, if I zoom in on that point, Guess what, at that point, they still haven't actually intersected. So our answer is going to be negative 11. So one of the things that I'm gonna have y'all do for this assignment is actually screenshot your work in here. And you'll be doing that a little bit. So what you'll do is you'll end up touching on the graph. You'll touching on the point of intersection. And then what you're gonna do is you're going to screen snip um, your work. In this case, it is simply a graph. Um, and then we're going to go back to our class kicks. We found our intersection. And what you're going to do is says, what are the solutions to the problem above using Desmos? So you are going to go control V and you are going to add that screen snip in as part of your answer. So negative 11 is your answer with a screen snip to prove it. I hope that helps y'all uh, learn how to figure this out and learn how to graph and solve rational equations on Desmos.